first things, state the relationship between intensity and amplitude. Oh, when you see intensity, please write intensity is proportional to amplitude squared. So you can just, I mean, this is the answer, but write it in the sentence. Okay, sure. So intensity is proportional, I'll just shortcut, to amplitude squared. One mark, that's B1, independent mark. Then you come to this part where you have to think of path difference. But now you have a screen. So you're, you're going to have things like bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark, bright, dark. But they didn't draw it out for you. So I guess we have to use different skills now. A microwave is moved along the path. A detector joining P and Q. So you have a maxima and minima, intensity, maxima, intensity, minima. That's what they call them. When the detector is at point X, you got all these distances. Oh, this is important. Wavelength, lambda. Okay. Calculate the frequency of the microwaves. What is frequency? When you see F, think about all the equations that have F. So that's that and that's that. Probably you want to use this. Okay, so V equals to F lambda. Microwave is an electromagnetic wave, EM. Means it travels at the speed of light. So the speed is 3 times 10 to the power of 8. You should memorize this or at least know where to find it in the data booklet. Meters per second. Frequency. Wavelength is in 6 cm. Oh, meters. Huh? So change to uh, 0 0.06 meters. So your frequency here, you will get a pretty big number. 5 times 10 to the 9 hertz. Which is actually also 5 gigahertz. But they want the answer in hertz. So you write here 5 times 10 to the 9. Be very careful. Watch that part. Two marks, one from formula, one from final answer. Okay. Describe the intensity of the microwave detect at X. So when you talk, see the intensity, you need to know, is this a maxima where constructive interference occur? Or is this a minima where destructive interference occur? How do we know that? What is happening here? Bright or dark? I mean, microwave is not light. But constructive or destructive? Maxima or minima? You need to see what's the path difference. And also, might as well, what is the phase difference? They should agree. La. So you can do a very quick calculation to double check. Part difference here will be these two minus together. So 2020. Wow, very nice number. 1840. That will give you a part difference of, I already calculated this, ah, 0 0.18 meters. That's in terms of meter. But in terms of wavelengths, what is the value? Well, did they give us the wavelength? Let's do some ratio. So if uh, wavelength is how many? 6 cm. If 6 cm is equivalent to one wavelength, then your 18 cm is equivalent to how many wavelengths? So that's why you want to change it in terms of wavelength. So you do 18 cm or 0 0.18 meters over 0 0.06 times lambda or one wavelength. And then you will realize that this is actually three wavelengths. Yay. Okay, so this is three wavelengths. This is all the ratio idea, very important tool to know. Yes, you know 0 0.18 in terms of meter, but then in terms of wavelength, how many? So three wavelength here. Is that constructive or destructive? Oh, it's a full integer, three. So this is three lambda. Constructive. So it's a maxima over there. Uh, how about phase difference? Let's also do phase difference. Up here, no more space already. So I write here. La. Phase difference is what? I don't know where. Oh, uh, use ratios again. Okay. So ratio, we know that wavelength 6 cm is equivalent to, what is one full cycle? 360 or pi. La. Or pi. Uh, sorry, 2 pi. So if you have a path difference of 0 0.18 or 18 cm, since I'm doing cm here, I'm lazy to write decimal. 18 cm is how many degrees or how many radians? So you do your same thing. Huh? Okay, you do your ratio and you will get a phase difference of 1080 degrees or 3pi. Eh, 3 times 2pi. Three full cycles. That's right. So this will be six pi. 
face difference, okay, so that tells me it's also going to be a maxima. Uh, your face difference is 6 pi or 1080 degrees at this x. Very good, let's color it green, maxima. But you need to describe and explain. Three marks for that, oh my. All this working up here, you can also include it down here in this area. Because it's three marks, so why not? So you have firstly your path difference. Very important key to know how to find this. Because this will tell you what your uh, phase difference is also. So phase difference is 6 pi or 1080. And your path difference is 0 0.18 meter or in terms of lambda, this will be what we calculated, three full cycles, three lambda. So, how to, how to conclude leh? So, your microwave detected at x. Uh, is it at x? Yeah, at x. At point, at one point only. Uh, at x is a uh, intensity. Uh, intensity maxima. Uh, and intensity maxima. Or you can say, you will detect maximum intensity at x. Both ways work. Three marks. Wow. M1, M1, and A1. This one, you you can show you're working here, or you can show you're working somewhere else, but best to also mention them here. Because three marks there. Mm, all right. Lots of describing. Like I say, waves, lots of describing. Oh, more describing. Describe the effect of the interference pattern along the path. Where is my... What is missing? Hello? Loading. Describe the interference pattern what changes when you change the wavelength oh favorite they like to ask this so you change wavelength what happened to your pattern once again best to just write down the general equation for interference pattern what are you changing the wavelength decrease so your lambda is decreasing uh a and d are kind of locked because you are not moving your apparatus you're not changing to the slit make them further apart. So only left x to change. So if your wavelength decrease, your fringe separation also decrease. So you describe that. Hey, this is very similar to the before one. So you say, fringe separation decrease. If you check the mark scheme, they will use a longer sentence. They'll say, distance between adjacent minima or maxima decreases. Sure, that's also, work. That's also the same thing. So here's a B1 mark. So check your mark scheme for another way to say this. Next one, phase, phase difference between the microwave emitted changed 180 degrees. Oh my. Means if before you were constructive, now it become destructive at a certain point. Or if before it was destructive, now it become constructive because you changed by 180. Ma. Phase difference changed by 180 means everything changed already. Lo? Okay. So that means uh, whatever spots you have bright or dark or well, constructive or destructive, maxima or minima, they will all be switched. So all the maxima become minima, all the minima become maxima. So how to describe that? You can say the bright, bright and dark change position, but this is not light, la, so don't say bright and dark. So you can say the intensity maxima means the bright fringe and minima change positions or? change positions and that is because of this fact right here two marks so another one here one two there that is how you can describe things like this for microwave remember how to describe go and play the simulation to see for yourself how the pattern change when you change certain values or variables.